Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for supporting my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a what I believe is worth splurging on, and these are for fashion and accessory pieces. So first up, I think a good pair of heels is 100% worth splurging on. Heels, to me, are the most uncomfortable thing you can ever put on your body. I hate wearing heels so much, so splurging on a really good quality, comfortable pair of heels is so worth it because when I have to wear heels all day, I don't want to come home to blisters on my feet and swollen feet, so finding a good, comfortable pair of heels is so key to my wardrobe. So the first pair of heels that I splurged on are these cream ones by the company By Far. I love these so much. I wear these all the time. They're neutral. They go with everything in my wardrobe and they're just the perfect pair of heels. These are actually more of a mule, but same idea. I absolutely love them. I will have these in my closet forever and I will wear them constantly they are so beautiful and i love the little detail in the heel they're very uh neutral mule but just having that little bit of character adds something different um to make it a little bit more unique so love those so much the next pair of heels are just the classic a uh, plain black heel i love these i mean every girl needs a black heel a black pair of heels in their closet. I mean, you are always looking for a good pair of black heels, and I love these so much. They go with everything. I like the small little straps, and I like how the heel is more of a kitten heel because, again, I cannot walk in heels. I hate heels, so I personally buy a small heel because they're so comfortable, and I can wear them all the time and all day, and they don't hurt my feet, and... They don't give me blisters so I love that and I mean I wear these all the time like all the time I got them like two years ago or three years ago best decision I've ever made actually it probably isn't the best but in regards to heels best decision I've ever made the next thing I think is worth splurging on is a good pair of jeans I find jeans so hard because I don't know, the fit of jeans in my body is just so hard to find. So when you find a really good pair of jeans, you just stick with it. And usually those jeans are more expensive and a better company and brand. I mean, it makes sense. So I splurged on a pair of A Goldie jeans and I'm so happy I did because these jeans fit perfectly. They're super comfortable and I just love them so much. They're a staple. Actually, after I purchased these, because I love them so much, I actually went ahead and purchased a couple more pairs of a Goldie jeans. Because, I mean, I wear jeans all the time. They're definitely a big part of my wardrobe. So finding a good pair of jeans that you like, you stick to it, so yeah. Sadly, that's a goldie, but I think it's so worth splurging on. I do want a pair of light denim jeans that don't have rips in it because I think that's more of a classic. I think rips tend to get old sometimes, and I'm more here for a really good, like, classic, no-rip, straight-leg pair of jeans, so I am on the hunt for those. I found a good pair at Levi's that I'll link below and also I'm looking at the brand Still New York. I think that's what it's called. They just have a really good selection of jeans and it's a small business so I love to support small businesses. So I'm definitely looking at those also to purchase from. The next thing I think is worth splurging on personally is a good black blazer. I love a black blazer. I think you need one in your wardrobe um, and I have struggled finding a good black blazer in the past and then Durf Avenue came out with theirs and it was just everything I wanted and more. It checked all the boxes. So I splurged and purchased this and I'm so happy I did because I will have this in my closet forever and I am obsessed with it. I think a quality black blazer is so important to have in your wardrobe. 
The next thing that you're probably not shocked about that I think is worth splurging on is a good white button down. I am constantly wearing button downs. I love them so much and I think a good quality one is so important because there are so many button downs out there that are really thin, see through, they wrinkle like as soon as you put it on your body. So I splurged and got this Derp Avenue one and it is such good quality. The material is thick. It's probably the thickest button down I've ever felt. And because the material is thick, it doesn't wrinkle as much as other button downs that I've had in the past or I've looked at in the past. So I am so happy I splurged on this and I will have this in my closet forever, like forever. It will never grow old. This is a statement. It's, it's perfect. I love this so much. The next thing I believe is worth splurging on, really depending on where you live and the climate, is a good winter coat. I definitely, if you asked me a couple years ago, wouldn't probably have put this in my video because I was living in Savannah where you really didn't need a heavy winter coat. But then when I was living in New York last year, I realized how important a good winter coat is and the value of having one because it is cold in New York especially in the winter time and you walk everywhere you barely take a car because it's new york so having a good winter coat a good quality one to keep you warm is so important so i purchased the one from everlane and this saved my life in new york because i was freezing before having this and i would always borrow my cousins but then she would obviously wear it so i was stuck like with no coat basically so this was a must for me in New York and I'm so happy I have it because I will have this forever I mean it is a simple winter coat that will never go out of season so love this so much and it was the best purchase I ever made last year the next thing I personally believe is worth splurging on is a good white t-shirt I wear white t-shirts with everything, by itself, underneath things, it's just a staple in my wardrobe. This one's from Everlean and I absolutely love this. It fits perfectly, it's really good quality. And I'm not saying to splurge and buy like a hundred dollar or more t-shirt, I mean this was a really good price. It wasn't really like a splurge like you would think. but. I mean, you can find a t-shirt for like $5, and I personally think that it's not worth spending $5 for a t-shirt because in three weeks, four weeks, it's going to stretch, it's going to get old, and you're going to have to keep purchasing one, and that adds up, so why not splurge? And splurge meaning like 25 to 45 maybe $50 on a good white t-shirt that will last you a long time I think is so worth it and this one from Everlane is really good I actually want to go and purchase more just because I'm always wearing a white t-shirt with things and this is always dirty so I think I'm gonna go and buy a couple other pairs other pairs other ones uh, other white t-shirts I'm gonna go purchase more basically so the next item that I think is worth splurging on are a pair of black booties. I mean, I always grab for black booties. They're probably my most worn shoe in my wardrobe. I love a good pair of black booties. I mean, you wear them all year round. And before these, I've never splurged on a pair of black boots. I think I had, I've had the same black boots since high school. So a very long time and they were just like destroyed. So I wanted to splurge on a really good pair that would last me forever and I found these. They're by the brand Jack Irwin and they are the perfect black booty. I mean, such a staple. I love them. They're, they're stunning. They're so, so pretty. Highly recommend this brand. They're a small company, which I love and they're exactly what I wanted in a black booty and I'm so happy that I splurged on them. The last thing I think is worth splurging on is jewelry. 
I used to buy really cheap jewelry and two weeks later it would tarnish and I would get so frustrated because I just purchased it and I would have to keep purchasing more. So I've made an effort to buy really great quality pieces of jewelry so that wouldn't happen. And also in the end result I would be actually saving my money. So my favorite company to purchase jewelry from is Ana Luisa. I've been a fan of Ana Luisa forever and I just love them so much and they have really great good quality pieces of jewelry for great prices because they don't do any luxury markups which is incredible so I have a few pieces from them this piece my mom actually gave me for Easter and it's just a plain gold chain with some beads on it um, it's so pretty it's beautiful I wear it all the time another piece of jewelry that I have from them is this plain gold necklace with a little V that has diamonds on it and it's just gorgeous. I absolutely love this so much. I think this is just stunning. Another piece I have from them is this really pretty ring that just has two little diamonds right there. And what I love about this ring, it's adjustable, so I have really small fingers, so buying rings tend to be hard, so this one's perfect because I can squeeze it to fit my small fingers. And then I also have these, this pair of earrings from them that I literally never take off, and they have, haven't tarnished one bit. Another jewelry company that I really like is Hey Harper. And I got this necklace from Christmas. It's just a gold chain and I absolutely love it. I got it for Christmas like two or three years ago, I think. And then I also wear my mom's actually wedding ring. I love jewelry hand-me-downs. I have a couple pairs for my grandparents and also my mom that I absolutely love. I think that's a great way to get high quality jewelry. And my mom's wedding ring doesn't fit her, so I wear it just to resemble their love they have for each other. So I absolutely adore this. This is my most prized possession I have right now, obviously, in my, my everything. So I take very good care of this. But yeah, I think having good quality pieces of jewelry is so important and will save you a lot of money, actually. So those are all the pieces I personally think is worth splurging on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please in the comments below let me know what you guys want to see. I would love to hear your opinions and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!